Welcome Capricorn to your July career and money reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you over this period. Capricorn, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This gives us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Capricorn, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with fertility and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this fertility energy is for Capricorn, please. And we have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Capricorn, I'm just going to take one more card here for you. I just want to see if I can get some deeper insight into this message. The Ten of Wands. Capricorn, what I'm seeing here for you is a very big ending. And it's a very blessed ending. It's an ending of a period, my dear Capricorns, that has not been easy for you. Three of Swords tells me that there could have been a lot of real disappointments coming your way in this particular area. And as it is a career and money reading, Capricorn, it'll come through in some area of your life that has to do with your abundance and security. Three of Swords is letting me know there's been immense letdown to Capricorn. Perhaps you were promised things or perhaps things didn't work out the way you thought they would. It could have been that you lost money, lost a job. You were interviewing for a job and you went to say on three, four, five interviews and at the last minute you didn't get the job. This is really hurt energy. Eight of Cups is coming in, letting me know, my dear Capricorns, that in July you are walking away from this disappointment. You're able to move on to something else. If you can notice, in all three cards, my dear Capricorn, we've got the resonance of the red coming through. And in these three cards, they are wearing the red garment. What it tells us so beautifully is the story of you leaving behind the pain, the disappointment and the hurt as you are now moving on to another chapter of your life where this fertile energy is waiting for you. And my dear Capricorns, where there is fertility, there is growth and expansion. So you are making a big move forward. Ten of Wands is a wonderful card to see here because it confirms for us it's an end of a really tough cycle. You're able to put down this heavy load and it's not long to go. My dear Capricorns, this should be happening in July. This is a completion energy. So this energy now dissipates completely and you move on to a situation that is represented with this energy of anything and everything is now possible. So it's a very uplifting and encouraging message, my dear Capricorns, because whatever tough period you have been through, it's over. It's coming to an end. 10 is a completion number. And then you are going to be able to think calmly and clearly what you want, how you want to go about getting it. And with fertility coming in, I am seeing Capricorn opportunities coming your way. Where there weren't any possibilities before, now everything opens up. We've got this energy of blossoming, blooming. Here, as you can see, it looks quite desolate as compared to our fertility card. You know, Capricorn, this could be the energy of trying to look for a job for months and months and months and nothing viable or suitable came up. And then in July, all of a sudden, there's all these new companies 
looking for people with your skill set and you've got choices. This, of course, will come through very differently for everybody, but it's coming in in an area where you have experienced our Three of Swords, this real core disappointment and hurt. It's moving on now, my dear Capricorns, and you can anticipate a big shift to come in where you are now going to be in the driver's seat. You choose where, when, and how you want to do things. Fertility has the energy of possibility. So Capricorn, it will be a wonderful period now to really double up your efforts in looking for that job. If you want to start your own business, this is the month to do the research. Really find out what it entails. Is there a need for your product or service? Speak to the right people. Because energy is fertile, you are going to get the answers and the direction you need. So we see a wonderful shift in the wind coming here for you. Right, let us move on now and see what Think Big and Act Big is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what Think Big and Act Big is all about for Capricorn, please. And we have the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. Capricorn, this Five of Cups energy is very connected to our Three of Swords energy. And Five of Cups is the energy, my dear Capricorns, of going over a past situation with a lot of regret. Why did I take that job when I knew that boss wasn't going to be good? Why did I decide to start my own business when I hadn't done enough research into the market? And it's the energy, my dear Capricorns, of really crying over spilt milk. But the milk has spilt. There's nothing you can do about it. So you're being asked now in July to turn around and look at what these two cups are that are still standing, that still represent a lot of possibility for you. Capricorn, you have a very interesting message coming through. Because of this hurt and disappointment you have experienced, Spirit wants you to work with them in the month of July. Work with Spirit, my dearest Capricorns, in a way of bringing them into the equation of abundance. If you want a new job, work with Spirit to manifest that new job. If you want to find the most perfect home, bring spirit into the equation. If you bring them in, my dearest Capricorns, it's going to help you shift out of our Five of Cups energy, the energy of looking at this past experience over and over again, lowering your vibration and keeping you feeling very disappointed and sad. When spirit is included in the equation, and Capricorn, this could be through prayer, meditations, visualizations, or simply just asking Spirit to come in and help you. You are going to be able to see what these two cups are. And these two cups, my dear Capricorns, are connected to our fertility card. Spirit's big message here is, if you keep in this energy, you will think small. You will think that you only deserve crumbs because you have been let down so badly. And Spirit is saying, actually, my dear Capricorns, as I mentioned previously, this is a blessed ending because there is something bigger and better waiting for you. And we saw that with your fertility card. This is the biggest reason why Spirit wants to shift you out of this energy. My dear Capricorns, you cannot attract all the big, great, wonderful things regarding your abundance into your life if you are vibrating at a low level. Spirit wants you now to be very conscious of raising your vibration. When your vibration rises, my dear Capricorns, you are going to start feeling that you are on top of the world, that you have actual blessings coming in for you. 
the message think big and act big is the energy now of shifting out of this energy and focusing on the possibility that is coming in for you. And Spirit wants to help you do this. So my dear Capricorns, however you choose to do this, and as I mentioned, make it easy, make it simple. What is natural for you? Spirit is going to be there for you. And in July, I do feel something is coming in for you. The energy is so ripe and fertile. It's just about you now being very conscious of getting out of this energy so that you are ready to receive. Right, let us move on now and see what Don't Look Back is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what Don't Look Back is all about for Capricorn, please. And we have Justice and the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, your reading reads like a real inspirational story. The story of going through an incredibly tough time, but managing it, persevering, surviving it, coming back up, working with spirit, and then getting into a position where you are able to receive what is due to you. With justice coming out here, my dearest Capricorns, you have nothing to worry about. You are going to restore yourself back into our fertility energy. And as you can see, once again, we've got the red garments coming through. There's a lovely synergy that runs through your reading. Justice tells me that any energy of hurt, despair, disappointment and letdown is going to be alleviated. And we saw that right from the beginning with you, my dear Capricorns, walking away from this energy, putting down this heavy load that you've been carrying for some time. There is now this beautiful energy of getting peace, balance and harmony back in your life. And you, my dear Capricorns, are coming out here presenting as Queen of Pentacles. Now, it does not matter if you are masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Pentacles I am speaking about. And Queen of Pentacles is our abundant queen. My dearest Capricorns, I can see that some of you have been through an incredibly challenging period. And it doesn't matter what this was for you and how hard it was. There is a big alleviation coming in for you. For you to come out presenting as Queen of Pentacles, it tells me you're going to be more than fine. As you can see, our Queen is just sitting here, relaxed on her throne, holding her pentacle. Her abundance is part of her. And, my dear Capricorns, that little rabbit right there tells us that July is a lucky time for you. And the luck that is coming in is all this energy that did not work for you, that let you down. You tried this, you tried that, you juggled this, you moved that. All this energy is just coming together and moving into the past and is making way, my dearest Capricorn, what this fertility represents to you. This could be more money coming in, a new job, a promotion, an increase. This could be finding a job, starting a second revenue stream. Could you be going into business with somebody? You name it. Something is coming in. And you, my dearest Capricorns, will never look back. You know, Capricorn, it's the most interesting thing we can go through incredibly tough times and we think to ourselves, I'll never get over this. I'll never come back from this. Things will never be the same for me. I will never forget how this feels. And yet, when things start changing for us and things start going our way and we feel on top of the world, 
you're going to be amazed how quickly this energy just slips into the past and you, my dear Capricorns, are facing a new fertile reality where you are going to feel blessed and on top of the world. This is so positive, Capricorn. Right, let us move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what Capricorn's angels would like to share with them, please. Perfect timing. My gosh. Capricorn, your angels are coming in and letting you know that this energy is all playing out in perfect timing. As we saw, this all comes to an end as you work with spirit. As you now realize this is over for you. It's no longer worth it to even think about it and ponder it and analyze it. It belongs in your past. As perfect timing comes in for you, this fertility energy will appear and you will know it, my dear Capricorns, because it will come through where it resonates with you, but you will feel the essence of possibility where it wasn't there before. You're going to get the justice energy coming in where everything just sorts itself out and you, my dear Capricorns, can sit back on your throne and feel connected once again to your abundance. This is going to be an exciting month for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful and successful month and I am sending you all so much love.